We're still in geometry, 1116. I'm on page 15. I want to look at problem number 10, and uh, it looks like a little puzzle, all right? So let's see if we can demystify it a little bit. This is what it looks like in the diagram, and I always like to first redraw them. So we have two triangles sitting side by side. They're similar, but of a different size, okay? So I just copied this one, ACB. They give us these numbers, 12, 16, and uh, 20. And now I'm going to take this triangle, and I have to twist it like this and bring it over. All right, so that the right angle is down here. Angle A, okay, corresponds to angle A. So I know these two are, are equal. Obviously, these two are equal because they're both right angles. All right, that's marked, so we know they're congruent to each other. So once I have them laid side by side, now I can find the similar parts, all right? And let's see here. Let's say I want to solve for AD, all right? So let's say AD is to DE. So AD is to DE. And let's go over here and see what is uh, what side corresponds to AD. Oh, that would be AB corresponds to BC, all right? So I'm taking this side corresponds to this side as AB corresponds to that side, all right? Now we can plug in the numbers and AD, we don't know, all right? So we'll do a question mark. DE, we know that is seven. AB, that's given, that's 16 and then BC is 12. All right, now to solve, we can just cross multiply and say 16 times seven equals 12 times this unknown number. And then we'll just divide both sides by 12, all right? I'm not gonna solve that one for you, but I do wanna show you that if I set it up slightly differently, let's say, because remember there's four ways we can set up any ratio. So maybe I'll say AB, is to AD as CB is to ED, all right? So I'm going from this triangle to this triangle, this to this, okay? Let's see if that works. AB is 16, AD is the unknown, equals CB, which is 12 over 7. Well, again, to solve for the unknown, I would multiply 16 times 7 equals 12 times the unknown. I'll call it x, okay? 16 times 7 equals 12 times x. Same thing that we got here, all right? You see that? That's the cool thing about math. You can do it four different ways and still get the same answer. So even if you did it slightly differently than maybe the score key set it up, it's okay as long as you're getting the ratios correct. There's four ways we could do it. I just showed you two ways. I didn't finish the problem, though, but you can do that with your calculator. Divide, and you'll have the number for x. Sometimes you'll get a fraction or a decimal, um, and that's okay. All right? So I'm going to stop on this lesson.